as it is Mother's Day a week on Sunday, our resident beauty guru, Trudy Brewer, has some gift options to make Mum's Day. Welcome, Trudy. Hi, how are you? Really good. Lovely to have you here as always. So what's new with fragrance? Look, I think the big thing that I've noticed is fruit. And most people go, oh, fruit, how does that smell in fragrance? But the fruit that they're using today is so beautiful, so exotic, so fresh. And the way they put it together too, um, it doesn't actually smell like fruit when you bite into it. It's got a real cleanness to it. So it's really exciting actually to have a new, new sort of note in fragrance. Because I always think of fruit in perfumes as being great fruit but there's other ones that they use there are so many so there's pear and apple granny smith apple it smells divine pineapple plum berries lots of black currant and raspberries and one that i'm absolutely loving is coconut Coconut. But it's not like a coconut sunscreen, it's much more um, refined and quite crisp. So once mixed with flowers, it gives a real warmth to the fragrance that you wouldn't expect with something that's fruity. Wow, although I'm quite a fan of coconut sunscreen. Just yeah, yeah. No, I know I am too. Um, so how and where do you start choosing your fragrance for mum? Because it's quite a personal thing too, isn't it? It is a personal thing. And you know, I was thinking about that question. I think women should try something new. I mean, there are so many fragrances now. Um, we've talked a lot about designer fragrances and it's a great entry point for somebody to buy, a, a, instead of a Chloe handbag, you can buy a beautiful Chloe fragrance for your mum. Um, actually, if you go into a farmer's store, they've got this really clever tool where you can go in and say, look, my mum loves X, Y, Z, but we can't buy it anymore, or I'd like to try something mm. else. And they can um, punch in that fragrance and up comes a whole lot of fragrances with the same notes in them. It was wow. designed by Michael Edwards, who's a bit of a fragrance connoisseur, and it's been sort of New Zealandized. So you can go into farmer's Get, get your mum a fragrance and be guided by this really clever tool, which I think is a fantastic idea because, you know, we're not all mind readers, are we? No, that's a great idea. And yeah. it is such a... Because you wear it pretty much every day. You so do. So when you get one, and it's kind of nice to have somebody buy something for you and you think, well, that's how they think I, I smell. Yes, I and smell. also <laughs> mum will go, oh, that smells just like the fragrance I used to have that I can't buy anymore because mm. that happens as well, of course. You know, they come and go. So if you're not a fruit lover, what else is on trend with fragrance? Look, there's a lot of big, bold florals and... Um, not so much rose and the violets that we saw last season. They're more big tropical blooms like the tiare flower and gardenia and frangipani. And so that mixed with the fruit, you've got this really beautiful, it's almost like going on a summer holiday but you're staying home. It's that beautiful um, fresh but big bold white flowers that do bring out that you know amazing smell. Oh gorgeous. I love that. Especially yeah. at night, you know, like in the tropics you can smell those flowers at yes. night. At night this fragrance smells beautiful. So particularly good for winter then. Oh, we're yeah, all getting yeah. miserable and yeah, cold. Yeah, right. And if dream. you're not having a holiday in Fiji, you can get one of these. <gasps> okay, so you've bought some things in for I us have. to have a smell of. So I've got a list here. We're not going to get to them all, but these are probably 10 of my favourites okay. at the moment. So we'll try and get through Where a few Where should we start? Of them. Let's start with the new Prada. Um, Mandarin oil, absolutely divine. It's a lot fresh, a lot fresher than we've had from Prada. Frangipani, Lang Lang, and tuberose. So it's so feminine. Oh, that's beautiful. beautiful. And look at that bottle, that gorgeous pink bottle. You know, imagine just having that on your dressing table. It's divine. That's definitely a dressing table one, isn't it? Not a handbag one. Um, this is the latest from Versace. Again, not what you would expect. Not bold and sort of you know very you know Italian. It's more fresh and light. Mm. Um, that one has got. Um, a gorgeous mix of black currant and peach with zesty grapefruit. Um, also, um, forget me nots, which is a really delicate flower. It's really beautiful, um, and that one is called Dylan Blue, which I love the name. It's gorgeous. It is beautiful. This um, is a nice bottle. Designed to sort of highlight the Drew bag, the Chloe bag. Isn't that gorgeous? Chloe fans will love this. Again, you know, Chloe's made a real departure from Rose, which is her signature, um, which was Linda McCartney's signature mm. fragrance. So that one has got nice. a lot more um, crisp green notes again like the peach the jasmine um a beautiful plum in that as well so it's quite different. yum that's lovely um, what about this one it looks this like is, an nail polish this is amani's fourth c in the collection passioni um a lot headier and stronger that one um but every inch of fruity fragrance so pear again pink pepper pineapple which you can't smell straight away but after a couple of hours you actually can mm. and that's all mixed in beautifully with vanilla so that's a really lovely bold fragrance um look this is beautiful now this is one i've actually and already sprayed on my favorite, arm you see? yeah exclusive to farmers kate spade we all love the kate spade tote we can't buy kate spade tote here but we now can buy the live colorfully fragrance so gorgeous again this one's got the coconut water in it so that's mm. probably why you like it because yeah said before you love coconut um it's got the bergamot, caraway seed, pink pepper, gorgeous fragrances. Oh, so beautiful. Yummy. And the bottle is divine. 
And what about this one? Look, I bought an Elizabeth Arden white tea. It's a classic, even though it's only a sort of a year and a half old. I thought this would be a beautiful fragrance to buy for your mum. You know, it's only $49. It's a little 30 mil. Fresh and light. It's got the white Ooh. tea in it, obviously. My eyes. <laughs> um, and a C accord. So it's got a, quite an aquatic accord to mm. it. Um, got a bit of bergamot in there as well. So it's kind of fruity and fresh and beautiful. That is gorgeous and very fresh. Yeah, very, fresh. very, 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 very fresh. Just then. Thank you, Trudy. Welcome. And if you were inspired to spoil mum, receive one club point for every dollar you spend on fragrance and beauty at Farmers, and then receive a $20 voucher for every 250 points you collect.